Hi, I'm Kelly McClellan, training specialist for Industrial Air Centers. Today we're going to talk about compressed air leaks. We are at the testing facility for Industrial Air Centers in Jeffersonville, Indiana. Here we have a 7.5 horsepower rental and a 100 horsepower machine. Let's go take a look at this 100 horsepower compressor. Every day we inhale and exhale and it costs us nothing. But once we begin to put that same air into tanks and into pipe to make usable energy out of it, it gets very expensive. Based on a national average energy cost of 12 cents per kilowatt hour, this machine running three shifts seven days a week will cost about $83,000 a year to operate. On average, the leak loss in industrial plants is 20%, which for this machine would be about $16,000. While 90 CFM may not greatly affect this 100 horsepower compressor or the processes that it feeds, it's three times the amount that this 7.5 horsepower compressor is capable of producing. So now that we understand the impact of leaks as far as monetary value and capacity, let's take a look at some leaks, different places we'll find them, and different ways to locate them. Here we have a test pipe set up to show some of the common places in which compressed air leaks are found. Quick connect fittings, black iron fittings such as unions, polytubing and push locks are very common to leak, along with copper and compression fittings. Now the two here are the, at the end are the ones that we don't really notice a whole lot, and that is a ball valve that is throttled for condensate removal. When there's no water present, it's a leak. And even timer drains, which are improperly adjusted. When there is no water present, it's an engineered air leak. So now that we know the common places to find leaks, let's talk about the three primary ways in which we locate leaks. First is audible. If you can hear a compressed air leak in your plant, it should have been repaired yesterday. The second is by using soap bubbles to locate smaller leaks. And the third is by using ultrasonic leak detection. And let's just talk a little bit more about ultrasonic leak detection and how that works. This is an ultrasonic leak detector. It is designed and finely tuned to pick up only compressed air leaks within your facility. The human hearing can really, the lower limits of human hearing is probably 30 to 40 decibels. This can actually locate leaks as small as 10 decibels. So basically, this device can pick up leaks that we would never be able to hear. In today's video, we've discussed the impact that compressed air leaks can have both financially and on the system itself. We've looked at some common places in which leaks can be found and the ways in which we can locate those leaks. If you have the equipment and expertise to locate these, these leaks on your own, that is an excellent option. However, if you need assistance, contact IAC and one of our experts will be more than happy to assist you in this. We will come out, locate that leak, quantify it, and hang a tag on it. Identifying and quantifying leaks does not save you money. It is only through the repair of these leaks that you will save money and return that usable compressed air back into the system. Once again, I'm Kelly McClellan, training specialist for industrial air centers. Hopefully you have found this video to be informative and eye-opening in regards to the cost of compressed air leaks. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. If you did like it, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.